You did it to yourself again, didn't you? You waited until the very last second to get ready for your upcoming test, and now you're freaking out about it, aren't you? It's okay. I've got you covered. Here are my best last-second strategies when exams are approaching with no time to spare. Hey there, smart people. Your favorite Uncle Matt back with you. Look, whether you procrastinated and just kept putting off your work, or whether life threw you a curveball, fear not. Because there's no blaming here, just practical solutions that will absolutely work to help you pass. And you know the drill. Please like, share, and post a comment to give me your feedback. And please subscribe with notifications enabled if you haven't done it yet. Doing all that stuff really helps my channel. Okay, let's dive in. First things first. Let's do a quick assessment of what you know and what needs your immediate attention. Do not just jump into action haphazardly. You must determine where you're starting from in order to prepare your best route. You'll do this by skimming through your syllabus or course outline, identify the key topics, and pinpoint your weaknesses. You can't say to yourself, I'm weak on everything, because that leaves you nowhere to go. Ask yourself, is it the theory, or the vocabulary and definitions, or the formulas, and so on? The better you can self-diagnose, the faster you can cure. Here's the number one single best way to understand where you're starting from, and that is to take practice exams. You can ask your instructor, or find some online, or talk to upperclassmen, or talk to some of your fellow students to get them. Taking practice exams is absolutely the very best way to prepare yourself. It'll help you figure out what you know and where you need help. Once you've identified your main weak spots, prioritize the topics you'll work on based on their importance and weight in the exam. It's the last minute, so you don't have time to do in-depth study. Focus on high-value concepts that are most likely to show up and be the biggest part of your overall score. Make a quick checklist to keep yourself organized. The more organized you are, the less stress you'll feel because you have an actual plan of action. Because time is of the essence, ditch the lengthy textbooks. Go for condensed notes, flashcards, or any quick reference material you have. If you've watched any of my other videos on taking notes, you'll know that I am a big proponent of handwriting them rather than typing or putting them into an app. I highly recommend the idea of revising your notes in the form of flashcards. Use a deck of index cards. Write your question on the front, your answer on the back, and quiz yourself. Put the ones you get right into the back of the deck. Put the ones you get wrong into the middle of the deck, so they'll come up again sooner in the rotation. Whenever possible, summarize the information into key points and use visual memory aids like I talk about in videos, like this one, on memorizing what you study like the world's smartest people. Doing your best to recreate your own version of visual aids, like charts and diagrams, can be a lifesaver for quick absorption. As you may have heard me talk about repeatedly in my other videos, like how to remember more of what you read with the production effect, passive reading simply won't cut it. You've got to employ as many senses as you can. Learning is not optimized when putting information into you. You learn best when you get the information to come out of you. Do it in as many different ways as you can. Quiz yourself out loud on key concepts. Teach the material to an imaginary friend or your actual study buddy. Or create mind maps like I teach in my video about how to supercharge your memory like the world's smartest people. This more fully engages your brain and enhances your retention. This is crucial for a last-minute cram session. Now let's talk about effective time management. Break your study sessions into focused, timed intervals 
with short breaks in between. Use the Pomodoro technique, 25 minutes of intense focus, followed by a five minute break. This keeps your mind sharp and prevents burnout. After doing two hours of study like that, take a break. You must allow the information time to sink in. Go take a walk, play a game or a musical instrument, go have a cup of coffee with a friend, or just take a nap. This is far more important than you realize. You must give your mind a chance to digest and absorb what you essentially just force fed it. Talking about stuff like that, don't underestimate the power of a healthy body for a healthy mind. Ensure you're getting enough sleep, stay hydrated, and eating brain boosting foods like meat, vegetables, and fruit. Stay away from sugary snacks and alcohol. Give yourself the proper fuel to run on. In addition to what we've covered here, I've published more information on this topic in various videos like this one that will help you skyrocket your score without knowing more, titled How to Prepare for Final Exams. You'll also find videos that will help you strategize the actual exam taking part itself. Remember, in an exam you're really being tested on two things. Of course, how well you know the material, but the second is how well you take tests. So I give you specific, precise strategies to psych out your tests. Here's a two-part series I did on multiple choice exams, if that's what you're going to be taking. Keep this in mind. It's not about how much time you have, but how effectively you use it. Stay focused, stay positive, and give it your all. You won't accomplish anything good with a bad attitude. To help deliver more benefit, I've included the links to the videos I mentioned in the description below this one. You'll also find other resources I think are valuable to help you speed you on your way to be smarter faster. Check out these two videos next as I've selected them just for you. I'll look forward to having you join me again soon and thanks for watching.